Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 14 of No Guns Life. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's <sighs> probably I mean, who else would it be? I'm still wondering how, like, for sure. <laughs> so, um, and Chris are going to get out of this situation. I mean, if <laughs> Jesus can't rescue them in time, how are you going to get out of that? Hmm. Was was the key term. But then it's the biggest thing is what made him join the group. That's why I really want an episode specifically on him. Because that's your brother. You just don't believe he would hurt somebody. He doesn't seem like the type of guy. Um. I don't guess it was Victor. <laughs> Mary, oh my god. <laughs> He never hit you, did he? Yeah. Oh. Had to. I mean, because if he felt guilty after killing him, then he's been on the run ever since. And then eventually he met Juzo. Excuse me. That 
you really need to have that, like, a <laughs> personal, like, sit down with your damn brother. Oh! Of course. Oh my god. Nice one here, fun job. Yeah, because that thing no matter what, he's just gonna kill it. He was just probably gonna give an answer and then dead. <clears throat> He was gonna drop him. <laughs> yeah, how? Tell you everything. It's the thing with juice up. Right about that. Yeah, and who are you, though? You can't be Victor. Oh, no, I don't trust him. This is some real big cult bullshit. Right. 
Really, Cody? Oh. You're not going to make him kill somebody either just to join, <laughs> rejoin this cult group or something, right? Oh, he has a mask on. Like, still, I mean, his face. What? Mm. Mm. That's great. But why would someone like that throw flame? I don't want to believe that either, but I mean in the button right there. I mean, because he got a gun for a head. Yeah, because he can't make But Oh the hand <laughs> Our dog <laughs> Oh, it's Victor. It's just you don't know. Possibly. I mean, that would be good because both of you would be able to talk to him. <clears throat> <clears throat> that too. And pff, we don't need to get nervous. Yeah, you okay with that? <laughs> Crap. 
course somebody will be telling them or watching them. How much you want to bet it ain't Victor out there? It's probably like someone we ain't even met yet or it's somebody we know. Who? I don't have no freaking clue. Isn't that the bodies of the thing that's outside watching Mary? Hmm, this is some silent hell shit. Like, even though they ain't got no heads, they might still attack them. I mean, Victor, what the heck did you do to yourself? I mean... I mean, because there was a fire, so yeah, of course, that messed up his face. I mean, but too late. She's already involved. She's been involved since technically almost episode one. This why I don't trust this dude. <laughs> I know all the people that would come, it would be him. Mm, of course. I mean, he said it last week that he was in a way to do that he was going to be telling you. I need to pop the bone take you into. This is a, like, a freaking centipede. Oh, no, Lefty! Aww. I mean, he gets so far gone. I, no, I didn't want... Mm. Really?
And so doing that, he wants you to show him your true self. Think about the ending opposite eye attack. You go into right there. Okay. This is a really good episode. Rest in peace, Lefty. I mean, mm, was I expecting Lefty to, you know, make a big sacrifice and kinda die for it? Not really today. I was I was thinking going into this episode, Lefty and everybody would have been okay and nobody would have died. But I mean, I don't know. Will we really consider Lefty dead? I mean when Victor, like, unleashed his robot human centipede look in behind the <laughs> mist, um, he got hurt. So, I don't know. What, what would you call that? It's a lot of answered questions with it. But, I, I mean, I'm not really surprised that Victor and Yuzo are going to fight next week. So, the biggest thing is wondering how the heck that's going to go. Now, for the elephant in the room, Sethro, are you freaking kidding me? So you're telling me this boy literally helped out with this terrorist organization and he don't even remember that he helped? What? <laughs> I, I don't know anymore. I, I, I don't know what to believe. I feel so bad for him because I felt like... Let's go back to the first half of the show. That... Um, I thought we weren't gonna, like, everything that he kind of told us, the little bits and pieces that we learned in the first half, I thought it was all fake. And that was it. But now I really don't know what to believe about that. I just, I feel so bad for him. Also, where the hell is Chris? Chris is probably somewhere stuck in a room, door locked, and then they're just gonna wait until, you know, Juzo possibly comes to rescue them, or... Tetsuro does something himself. I mean, we're now at a crossroads for him. He, he's going to have to choose something for himself. And it might be good and it might be bad. There's consequences on whatever the hell he's going to choose at the end of the day. And I don't think we're going to see that until maybe either next Thursday or the following Thursday. But, okay. So, the the leader of this cult, I don't trust him either. Um, the cop from last week. I mean, come on. It was like... Are we surprised that he tailed Juzo? No, because come on, he was like kind of saying it. Like when I watched the episode on Monday, I was like, okay, yeah, something's going to happen where no matter what, he's always going to be one step ahead of me. I mean, ahead of them. The freaking robot that was watching Mary, I didn't think that was a part of his his group with the police and everything. I was just thinking maybe that could have been um, a different organization, cult, terrorist, whatever, who was also watching Mary and possibly going to take Mary as well. But, I mean, ugh, I really thought he was, his, <laughs> I really thought Victor was going to honestly kill his own sister. I mean, we've seen, it's officially right here in this episode where it's shown that, yes, he has killed, you know, their guardian that was watching over them up to the point where he almost hit and beat Mary down. And then he killed him, and then he ran off, and eventually he went to into the war, and eventually he met Juzo, and eventually into that, um, they made, like, a friendship, bond, whatever, and eventually they were, he was fixing him up and everything. So, it's just still a lot of unanswered questions with that. I hope with next week's episode, with these two getting ready to go and duke it out, um, we get a little bit more clarity on their backstory. I think that's what I really want right now for the two of them, because... I feel like with the Mary, Juzo, and Victor situation, we know, like, this much. Like, teeny, teeny, tiny bits. Like, not, I'm not saying we need to know everything, but because of the fact is this is only, like, a 24-episode series. And on the second half, typically with some shows that I've watched in the past, um, <laughs> they really don't, in my opinion give the manga enough time to go 
when comparing it, when, when taking stuff from manga to anime, they don't really give enough time for me. And I felt like, um, it's not enough for me personally. I, I can say it for some shows that I've seen in the past, but like for this, I felt like there's still a lot of unanswered questions with it. So hopefully next week we get something. I just need clarity because I feel like this next episode is possibly going to be Victor's last episode because as Juzo said in this episode, it's a possibility that he's going to have to kill Victor. And <laughs> as I said, Mary, you okay with that? And I mean, she didn't really, you know, answer. She just looked at him, like kind of giving him, okay, I understand, but there's going to be a point in time where Mary might be crying over her brother once again. And honestly, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. I don't want to, I, I don't want to see her cry. I mean, honestly, like she's, mm, is she best girl for me? No, I'm really honestly, Olivia is the best girl for me. Mary is second best girl, but you still, you know, she's like, they're both tied, but still I would say Mary is second best girl. But I care for Mary as much because I feel like we've gotten to spend more time with her rather than um, Olivia. Because there's only been like, what, two, three, maybe like five episodes where she's gotten screen time and we've gotten to learn more about her. And that's it. But honestly, really, who knows? Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to it's episode 14 of No Guns Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. <clears throat> Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys, especially y'all, next Thursday for episode 15. Bye, guys.